and welcome to the Oracle Treehouse. I am the lady of the treehouse, clairvoyant, intuitive, medical intuitive, and healer, Shanice Jones. This is the weekly vibe reading for March 25th through the 31st. We've got an interesting read. I pre-picked them this time. I always got to do it. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So. The card that was drawn for today and Tuesday, the 25th and 26th of March, is the Shadow card. Now, I see some of y'all out there. I feel some of y'all out there like, oh my God, the Shadow card, really? My shadow? You gotta face your fears. Know that when you face your fears, you face that doubt. You're being guided. You're being guided by both, but you're going to go into that light. Um, in the original tarot deck, this card is actually representative of the moon card, the number 18 moon card. And if you know anything about the moon, the moon is also connected to what? Yes, our intuition. So know that wherever your intuition guides you, it's always going to guide you to light. It may look like you're going into the shadow. It may look like you're going into the darkness. But really and truly, you're going to an unknown place. That's why we need our intuition. Our intuition is that flashlight. Well, that light, period. That helps us get through the unknown, the darkness. To help us see that shadow, that illusion of a shadow. So today and Tuesday, y'all, listen to your intuition. It's really, really high. And for some of y'all out there, it's it might be a little too high. So you might want to bring it down just a little bit, especially for my empaths out there who feel like they're picking up people's energy and stuff. Before you leave the house, cloak yourself in white light. You know, ask God, the universe, Allah, whatever you call that awesome force out there. Surround me in white light. So I am protected. Because when you're surrounded in white light, trust. The dark side don't want to mess with you. The dark side is scared of you. Matter of fact, they will run. Alright? Also, too, if this card looks familiar, I have went back to my boy's card. The awesome John Holland's Psychic Tarot deck. I know you can hardly see it because I use it all the time. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite deck ever. So, that is Monday's and Tuesday's card. Wednesday's and Thursday's card. Aha! We've gotten through the darkness. We've gotten through the shadow. We've seen our shadow. We've seen that the shadow is an illusion. And now we've done our part and the universe is doing its part in the waiting game. Um, for a lot of you, opportunity is coming. Just because this is the waiting game, some of y'all will be waiting because you had to do that work from today and Tuesday. And now Wednesday and Thursday is bringing you opportunity. It's bringing you things. Um, interestingly enough, where I'm pointing at is actually where my attention went. Um, when I did first pull the cards, the roots. So for a lot of you, you're just starting out. Things are just now starting to take root. Things are just now starting to blossom. Opportunity. After all this struggle, things are starting to take root. Things are starting to look awesome. Things are starting to look really pretty cool, you know. And this is from a spiritual perspective. This is on a spiritual level. So you are definitely divinely guided. So meeting people by coincidence. There is no such thing as coincidence. It's called synchronicity, people. Synchronicity. So Wednesday, Thursday, pay attention to the synchronicity. If you feel like you're lost, talk to your intuition. Universe, God. Where am I going? And 
fall into opportunity is what I'm hearing in my mind. Fall into that opportunity. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And for the weekend, interestingly enough, we have the number one blue card of triumph success. Triumphant success. And blue represents the mental. So the mental is really, really sharp. Matter of fact, I'm getting the sense that both hemispheres of the brain are connected at this time. So everything that comes out of you is coming from a heartfelt, centered place. Um, with that said, also be careful because it's a sword. So remember, it cuts both ways. Not only can you carve out a beautiful piece of compliment, a, a beautiful piece of paper, or say something that really touches somebody's heart, you can also say something that really hurts somebody's heart. So remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Um, papers, papers, papers. I'm getting a real sense of somebody writing. Um, if you're like me, you write, and then you're like, you know what, I'm not going to put this out. Have somebody that you really, really trust to read it. Matter of fact, read it out loud yourself. When you read it out loud yourself, things start to click. And I have no doubt that you will have success because this is the card, when, uh, not Wednesday, Thursday, or not Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is a good time for this. Triumphant success. Write that novel, write that poem, because trust, somebody out there who reads it is going to totally feel it and catapult you. Alright, so that is the weekend vibes. Review time, Wednesday, Thursday, today, and Tuesday. As you can see, we have a pretty interesting growing week. So, have fun, enjoy it, pay attention to your intuition, that is key, totally. Alright, that is the weekly vibe reading for March 25th through 31st. I do appreciate it. Tune into the radio show Tuesday. I am going to be back, y'all. As you know, I have been training. Yes, y'all, I've been training. I've been excited. Expanding my healing powers. I am so excited. As y'all know, I am training to become a divine healing hands healer. I have a um, fundraiser going on to help me with this. Um, check it out down here at the bottom. Also, to schedule your appointments with me, I'm still doing readings. A 30 minute reading, y'all, that's really all you need. An hour reading, no, 30 minutes is all you need. So book your readings with me down here at the bottom if you want to donate to help me get my Divine Healing Hands to finish my service in this world. It's greatly appreciated. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check it out down at the bottom. Also too, this Saturday, yours truly will be at the Edgar Casey Center. I'll be teaching from this book, The Power of Soul. Please y'all, if you have the book, bring it with you. I'm going to be teaching about karma. Yes, y'all. Karma. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't know that much either about karma myself. Now that I've read this book, so much more makes sense. So much more makes sense. So come up to the Edgar Casey Center this Saturday from 12 to 2. I'm going to be teaching in the Gladys, the Gladys, the Gladys room at the Edgar Casey Center from 12 to 2. Um, $7 fee per person. Totally awesome. Check out the details down at the bottom. Until then, I will talk to y'all next week. Love y'all. Bye.